Hi, welcome back to the Cozy Sound channel and part 10 in the series all about my little boxes projects. And the little box in question this time is... The little boxes filter. Now, what I wanted was a voltage control filter, a VCF, that would work quite happily on 9 volts and run in a little box with a just a 9 volt battery that I could then plug other little boxes into and kind of in increase the capabilities of what is essentially becoming now the little boxes modular. Now voltage control filter, if you want a simple one, there's, there is a kind of a, if you do a search on the net there's a design that constantly crops up which is based around a single op amp and many people have uh, adopted and adapted that particular design it, it, it appears all over the place and I found a version on Electro Music um, uh, forum I'll, I'll put a link in the description for it and the one that I've adopted and adapted is one by um, Hendrik Gertling I hope I've pronounced his name right. It's a very simple design. Um, essentially what I did was, was take his design. I have ditched CV control. I decided my little box didn't need CV control for the way that little boxes tend to be more hands-on and some manual sweeping of the filter and resonance was kind of order of the day. So that's been ditched. And then um, I there is a in his design there is a a, a single diode that there's a there's a common uh, mod to this particular circuit design where you, you replace a single diode that's uh, on the cutoff input and you, you use two diodes um, so I've actually got rid of the sing single signal diode and used two LEDs well we'll see all this later but for now this is how my circuit ended up so you can see we we've got uh, an input and an output we've got a control for cutoff and you can see the two leds there and then we've got a control for resonance and as you will hear um, we actually do get some decent resonance and it even trips into self oscillation so I needed to put this onto a circuit board and the strip board layout for the board I built is this. Very few components, quite a simple layout, not a difficult build at all. And before I put it into the box I, I knocked up a board just kind of test and that looked like this. I tested this version of it and yeah it worked really really well so I thought right now is the time to put it into a little box okay so what we'll do now we'll go over to the bench and and have a look at what it looks like now it's in its little box and then I'll show you some uh, demonstration patches that I did with it and you can hear what the little boxes filter actually sounds like. So let's go to the bench. Here we have the little boxes filter. Uh, a bit more close up we can see the front panel. Controls very simple. We've got a power on off switch. We've got a potentiometer to control the cutoff frequency. Uh, another potentiometer to control the feedback resonance. These are the two LEDs that we saw when, when I showed you the um, original circuit I built. Those, those were actually soldered onto the uh, strip board. You'll see how I've got them onto the box in a moment. And then there's the input where we feed our signal in that we want to filter and the output where we get the filtered signal from. As I said earlier, um, I haven't incorporated uh, uh, CV control so there's, there's nothing there. So that's it, really, really simple. What's it look like inside? Well, 
here we have if we look at the back of the lid we've got the frequency sorry cut off, yeah frequency cut off and resonance pots we've got the on off switch what i did for the leds i use a little bit of um, strip board off cut to uh, mount the leds on so i could easily mount them on on the box lid but other than that it's just the same circuit and there is the main circuit itself which is it's, it's the same as uh, the one I showed you. There's, there's just a single off amp and then a handful of other components. The only difference being, like I say, I've taken flying leads up to the LEDs now mounted on the front panel. And like most, not all, but most of my Little Boxes projects, it's all powered from a single 9 volt battery. So there we are little boxes filter fairly simple straightforward circuit but what we're really interested in is what does it sound like okay I've got a couple of clips that I recorded earlier in the first one I use the little boxes filter in conjunction with a little boxes baby 8 sequencer that's triggering my little boxes neo punk which is a, an atari punk console uh, and then i'm just kind of record the output of that i mean in some way what i'm doing now i'm starting to put little boxes together and they're becoming their own little boxes modular synth so changing out one of the modules i've got a, a second video clip where instead of using the neo punk little box module I use my Avalanche 3 little box module, which is three reverse Avalanche VCOs forming like a, a drone box. But what I've done again, I've incorporated the Baby 8, and Baby 8 is uh, sequencing one of the VCOs, the other two are acting as drones. Then the output is going through the filter, and, uh, and then on, on that one, I'm actually processing it through I've got a, a Behringer reverb machine the uh, RV 600 I think it's obsolete now but it's it's a basically digital reverb I know digital crime isn't it I should be ashamed never mind um, but yeah it goes through the digital reverb and, and gives it kind of as you'll hear a little bit of a, a spooky feel so let's have a look at a couple of clips and see what this sounds like in action I'm not just limited to using my little boxes filter with other 
little boxes modules I can incorporate it in a patch within my project 12 modular analog synth so that's that's what I've done in this patch we have a 4046 VCO which is going through you, you can't see because it's off the top of the screen but it's going through a, a, a Vitrol and then the output is going through the filter which is then going into the project 12 one of the project 12 mixers and then out to be recorded the 4046 VCO is being triggered by a sequence running on my little boxes baby 8 sequencer now of course there's no CV control <coughs> on the filter so basically it's designed for you to get all of it and start playing so let's start playing bring up the frequency Bring up the resonance a little. And there, it's got tripped into self-oscillation on the filter itself. So I add a little bit more atmosphere, I can turn on my reverb machine. There you have it, the little boxes filter. I've given you the schematics, I've shown you a stripboard layout, I've shown you how I've built it into the little box. Very simple circuit, relatively easy build, very inexpensive. No excuses really, so go on, have a go, build your own. <laughs>